So, are children uh, evil? Uh, 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 well, we're going to use math to prove it. Huh? Got Ten seconds to go. Hi, now I may you English for you. We have one-on-one -on -one group business conversation, daily conversation for all levels in Taipei and Kaohsiung. So join us now. And now check out the video. Do you have children? Do you think children are evil? <laughs> well, you may be right. Huh? For this video, you need to understand a couple of English phrases and math terms that we use in English. So let's look at the math first. This symbol is square root. This symbol is squared. So if you have them together, they will cancel. That's one. And a couple of phrases. In English, we say time is money. Maybe you've heard this before. Your boss will say, Oi, time is money. Get back to work. <laughs> Another phrase we use is money is the root of all evil. This means we believe money is the cause of a lot of bad things and bad behavior. So, are children evil? <laughs> well, we're going to use math to prove it. Huh? If you have children, you need to spend time with them and they cost a lot of money. So children equal time times money. Our English phrase, time is money. So money, money, which is money squared. We also said money is the root of all evil. So money equals the square root of evil. Evil squared, cancel, cancel. Look, children are evil. Ah, the math does not lie. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, thumbs up and subscribe. And see you next time. Unless you have children, because they're evil. Oh.